Hello and welcome to Golden Orb Studios. In this video I'll be showing you how to bake materials in Blender to textures that you can then export to game engines such as Unreal Engine or Unity. So starting off you want to create however many textures there are to the inputs that you have in the principle. So here you can see I have three base color, roughness, and normal. So I want to create three textures. If you had any of the other inputs you would want to create ones for those as well. So starting off, I'm going to do shift A and search for a image texture. And then I'm going to click new and I'm just going to call this cube color and untick alpha unless your texture requires alpha, like if you're doing foliage or something like that. And then make sure the width is set to an appropriate amount. I'm just going to keep it at the default and click OK. This is a RGB, so I'm just going to keep it like that Then shift D, move that up. Click the X, new, and this one will be the roughness. So cube, roughness, select non-color, duplicate, X. Same thing again, but for the normal, cube, normal. Make sure it's set to non-color. And then with these created, next you want to select the color texture and the model that you want to bake to. Then go to render settings. Make sure you're on cycles. If it's on EV, it won't work. Go to bake, and then bake type. You want to do diffuse. Diffuse is also known as color. And then moving down, uncheck direct and indirect lighting. Otherwise, it will bake the lighting onto it, which you may want, but I don't want it for this case. I only want the color. And then just keep everything as default. And then double check that you have the color selected and the mesh selected. And then you can hit bake. To preview that, you can go up to the top until you see your cursor turn into the crosshair. Drag down and then hit I, go to the image and then cube color. And now you can see that we have an image texture and we can go ahead and plug that into here once we're ready. First, I'm going to bake the rest of them and then I'll plug them. So next we have the roughness. It's the same process. Make sure the mesh is selected and the texture is selected. And then in the render settings, we want to change the bake type to roughness, click bake. And then same for the normal. Select the normal texture, make sure bake type is set to normal, and hit bake. And then you can see that we have all of our images. I'm just going to copy all of these into a new material so I can show you the difference. Now you can see there is absolutely no difference. It looks exactly the same. All of the information was baked to the textures, so now when you import it into the game, it will be exactly how you made it in Blender. Alright, so you can see that I've made this terrible flower, and I added a bump map to it to give it a bit of 3D, and you can see that it looks absolutely awful and pixelated. One way to fix this is after you bake it to the map, still looks terrible, but you can go into the image editor, and then select the smooth brush. And now you can see that it's better than it was before, which was way pixelated. And now the one that we made, much more smooth. All right, so this is all for this tutorial. I hope you found it useful. If you like this video, don't forget to check out my other video on baking normal maps from high-res objects. Thanks for watching, see you next time.